Some of the best necromancy mods out there have been made for Oblivion and Skyrim. I do much prefer Oblivion to Skyrim and that goes to necromancy mods as well. Daggerfall is fantastic but sadly does not support minions of any kind. I'm hoping this can be remedied with the upcoming Daggerfall Unity remake, but if it is ever implemented it's going to be a long way off because I've got lots of other work to do that's much more important. I've got my eyes on it though like a hawk. The moment Daggerfall Unity gets necromancy, I will know about it and I'll play it. Like every Elder Scrolls game since Morrowind, Oblivion has conjuration magic that lets you summon various creatures and undead. However, the vanilla implementation is truly awful and breaks almost all of my golden rules of satisfying necromancy. There's a one summon limit, summons are timed to a minute if you're lucky and far less if you're not. The vanilla minion implementation is so incredibly bad and is exactly the kind of shit that drives me up the wall. A skeleton that only lasts 20 seconds is ridiculous. A single summon limit is fucking farcical. Insulting even. Fortunately there's mods out there that fix these intruding mechanics. There's a few of them and I've tried most of them, but one really stands out as the absolute best. That mod is called Mysterious Bear's Epic Necromancy by Mysterious Bear. You'll find the link in the description. Every time I play Oblivion, I'm immensely grateful for Mysterious Bear's superb mod. It not only gives you the ability to create multiple very useful minions, it also gives you many different types to make. You also have to craft the minions yourself from components that you harvest from corpses and graves, which is an exceedingly awesome mechanic. Every minion can be given basic orders such as wait, stand guard, follow, etc. You can also craft an undead leader and tell lesser minions to follow this unit. This opens up some interesting strategic options, but also lets you have more minions following you. If this mod wasn't already awesome enough, it lets you transform any location in Cyrodiil into your secret necromancer lair. You can position guards here and build defenses. And you'll also need these defenses because mages from the Mages Guild, who hate necromancers, will come and try to destroy your lair. As you grow in power, you'll also attract other necromancers to your lair who will serve you. It really doesn't get much better than this, and this mod ticks every important box on my list of important minion mechanics essential for a good necromancer experience. It's got plentiful minions. You can make as many as you want, even more than is sensible to take with you. You can leave them as guards in your lair if you make too many. Permanent minions. These guys hang around until the enemy destroys them at which point you can patch them up after the battle using components harvested from dead bodies of a knife. Your minions are useful as well. You have a lot of control over exactly what kind of minion you build and how you upgrade it. You can choose to have warriors, archers, etc. It's all up to you. And it also allows you to have a squishy summoner. Like, I killed a lot of stuff with my necromancer and he did none of the work. It was all in the minions. You're supremely helpless and 100% reliant on your minions if you choose to be. Finally, this mod even fulfills the special bonus category that a lot of games and mods do not. It has craftable minions. To build your minions, you need to harvest the materials from corpses. It's very immersive. You're not just popping minions out of fresh air. These ones are crafted with love. Existing minions can be upgraded more and more, granting them new equipment and special abilities. For example, one of my best zombies is able to infect enemies with disease that makes them rise up as a fresh new zombie on death. So from one zombie you can spawn many. This is very useful because crafting them the usual way is time consuming and expensive in resources. Now that we're talking about how minions get crafted in this mod, I'd like to go into a little bit more detail. Basically, whenever you're fighting, or your minions are fighting and killing stuff, you're generating this bloodlust, which is some kind of behind-the-scenes value that accumulates the more minions fight. You expend this resource along with components of dead people, for example bones, skin, etc, to create an undead minion. To get the components, you have to attack corpses with a special knife. The knife is called a carving knife, and depending on where you strike on that corpse, it'll give you a different resource. The best resource is the heart, 
which you get with controlled strikes towards the left side of the torso. If you just slash and hack like a madman, you won't get as many resources as if you carefully slice and dice. So the mod makes a distinction between controlled cuts and just insane stupid slashing. So you have to take care when you're carving up the corpses of your enemies. One other thing. I mentioned before you can have a secret lair. In this lair you can build special buildings and these buildings will generate both body parts and bloodlust for you. So at a certain point you no longer have to rely completely on harvesting components from dead bodies and graves and from your minions doing combat. You can generate this, which is especially important for the larger and more powerful kinds of undead which require a lot of resources. There's also special buildings that act as defenses. I haven't used any of them yet, so I don't know how they work. I've just had stationary undead guarding my secret lair. So far I've only witnessed one Mage's Guild attack on my secret lair, and it was dealt with pretty handily by my many minions. Or well, maybe it's actually been raided a couple of times now. I'm not quite sure, but it's definitely been raided and it was repelled. But the Mage's Guild does come in force, so you do need to have some kind of defenses in your lair. So in conclusion, I can absolutely and wholeheartedly recommend Mysterious Bear's Epic Necromancy mod. It's definitely one of the best necromancy mods out there. It's the best one out there for Oblivion in my opinion. Way back in 2006 when I first played this game, this is what I basically dreamt of being able to do in Oblivion. It's just the perfect necromancer experience, how it probably should have been implemented into the game from the get-go. Another great thing about this mod is that it's still being worked on. If you look at the modder's description of the mod, you'll notice that he has plans for the mod. He plans to make it so that the minion crafting process is a bit better. So instead of just a minion appearing after you've got the right ingredients and you want to make a minion, you have to sort of craft it in a more complicated way. Extremely exciting is that he writes that he wants to implement a way for creatures, necromancer and minions, to be able to enter towns. I've got my own idea about how he could do that. You could like equip all your minions in robes that kind of hides them, or maybe dress them up in armor that hides them. And that would work well. I'm sure he's got a better idea than what I've got though. I'm really looking forward to what he comes up with. There's also a lot more features in this mod that I didn't really talk about. I encourage you to go and read the features list on his page. It will tell you about all the other stuff this masterpiece of the mod implements. It's truly fantastic what this guy made. I wish more real developers would do necromancy like he's done it. I mean, I, I just don't understand it. Why is it that every game, well not every game, but most games, implements summons this is like 20 second thing that just pops out of the air, you're only allowed one of them, it barely does any damage, it's a piece of crap, and then after 20 seconds it's gone again. And in the meantime you're meant to be fighting enemies that are so much more powerful than you are. For example, you're raiding the local necromancer den or whatever, and this guy's got, you know, five or ten skeletons and then even more zombies in every room. And it's just like, wow, dude. I'm a necromancer as well, apparently, but I've only got, you know, one 20 second skeleton summon that's gone after a 20 seconds, and I've only got one of them. It's hardly an army. So I really hope that one day games implement proper necromancy like Mysterious Bear has done for his fantastic mod here. It really is a dream come true, this mod. I absolutely love it.